Woo. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another exciting episode. So today I am visiting a spot that's known for big fish, successful fishing because a lot of people come up here and they're pretty successful because this marsh is extensive and very large. So we're gonna be targeting redfish and flounder mostly, maybe speckled trout, but redfish and flounder for sure because there are plenty and big, big fish in this particular marsh system. We're gonna be using bugs fishing lures and if we catch our fair share with bugs, we'll move over to the paddle tail. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, please subscribe. Please leave me a comment because it helps my analytics and it just helps my channel out. And if you take the time out of your day to comment, I'm gonna reply back to you with the same respect. So please, please leave a comment. I would love to hear what you guys say because I actually read all the comments. So without further ado, let's see if we can get you a good video today. What a beautiful, beautiful morning, man. Can't ask for anything better, man. Look at this, look how beautiful this. Water level's a little bit high, but that's okay. We're gonna work with what we got. Gonna be hanging out with the gators. There's a gator over there. Gonna hang out with the mullet, which are all over here. And we're gonna hang out with God's beautiful creation. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen, isn't this beautiful? As we say in the intro, we're gonna be hunting down redfish and flounder, mostly in this spot. Uh, gonna be looking for bait action, bait movement, drains, structure, blow-ups on the grass line, tailing fins, tails, if it happens, I mean, I don't know, you never know, right? We're gonna be looking for that, we going way back shallow water, hopefully, and catch some nice fish, huh? Yeah, so it's outgoing now, right? Huh? Outgoing now, right? Nice. Bait movement right there. Probably a good 80 yards for me. I see it. The water movement's really good. That could have been a redfish blow up, but I'm actually too far it's way up there to even try to make a move over there. So maybe they'll come my way. I don't know. We're just going to metic meticulously work our way there, though, anyways. Hey, Marcus, look at that bait movement right there in front of you. I don't know. Castle might be a red. Oh my god. But that's good. They kill the mosquitoes. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Hit those drains, bro. Nice. Oh, that's got something on. Is that a gator right there? Probably. A little large. No, that's a gator. Really? That little head? Yeah. That gator, bro. He ain't scared of us. Yeah. There we go. Nice. <laughs> nice bite. What is this? I think it might be a flounder. The way he's pulling me down. All right. See, I told you, man, targeting these drains like clockwork just about okay buddy oh wow okay he might be a redfish actually oh wow there he goes there he goes he's got some pull on him yeah he's gonna be a keeper red i believe i said right at the drain he's just sitting there waiting for the bait to come out i don't blame him <laughs> yeah it's definitely gonna be a redfish the way he's fighting oh it's a good one that's a good fish that's a good fish. BFS Ultralight, baby. Let's loosen up the drag just a little bit. Just gotta tire him out. That's a good fish, man. Yeah, he's almost tired out. He's almost tired out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, bud. Stop. You're gonna attract the gators. Oh, yes. Good freaking red. Yeah, baby. All right, fish number one, guys. Check out this brute. Way to start off in the morning. 
he's, he's playing that connect the dots thing too. Multi spotter, beetle fish. Caught him on the bug's curl tail, aiming for a drain. As I stated in the intro, that's how we're going to be tackling this marsh system. Woo, beautiful fish. Probably about 24 inches, maybe 24 and a quarter. Once again, on the bugs, baby. Love that bugs. It's a killer lure for this marsh out here. All right, my friend. Just give me back the curl tail there. Thank you so much. Once again, curl tail, baby. It is an effective lure for marsh fishing here on the upper Texas coast right there. And just out of curiosity, I wonder how much he weighs. He is almost seven pounds, six and a half. All right, buddy. Woo, beautiful fish. Nice fight early in the morning. I thought it was a flounder. You tricked me a little bit there, didn't, didn't you, fella? But uh, yeah, you were a big redfish all along. Get out of here. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, fish number one. This place produces freaking monsters. And people that know, just know this spot. I mean, it's not much to say, man. It's just, this place is magical. Let's try that again, shall we? Same spot, same drain. Let's see if another one's looking by. I'd love to hook into a 20 inch or 20 inch flounder rather, not 20 inch red. Already caught a 20 inch red. That'd be icing on the cake, right? That'd be our Texas lamb. We're not gonna hold our breath though, because it's actually, oh wow, okay. I just got thumped there. I think that's probably piggy fish. Oh, another one. <laughs> it's drained, wow. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a nice flounder. Oh, wow, okay. Here we go, baby. <laughs> oh, yes, nice flounder there. Well, uh, <laughs> after probably three casts after I caught that big red, caught a nice big flounder, man. This dude is probably pushing 18 inches, man. We're gonna measure him, but caught him on a bugs. Man, bugs is killing it today, man. The flats bug, curl tail, black gold. Perfect for the marsh color of this water in this area. Look look at this, man. I didn't bring a cooler, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would keep this guy for sashimi. He's a nice big one. We're going to let him go. Okay, my friend. Don't bite me. There we go. Oh, shh. You got to watch, man. Look at their teeth. These dudes are killer. Oh, yeah. Let me measure him. Woo! 18, almost and a half inches. Boy, it is touching the half inch mark. Okay. <laughs> oh man. The Asian wife is going to get mad for me letting go of that big flounder. I just don't have a cooler box, man. Don't want to mess with trying to take a fish and go into the next convenience store and buying a $20 styrofoam cooler box because I forgot mine. Oh well. One more fish, man. Dude, we got a freaking awesome day. Well, you know, they say if it's not broken, don't fix it. Same spot, same drain. Let's see if this magical drain produces one more fish. Usually from my experience, when you catch one good flounder like that, there's possibly another one lurking by. Not always, but from my experience, it happens more than not so, if that makes any sense. It's just trying to get them to bite because they're kind of stunned since they saw their compadre get hooked up you know what I mean it's almost I want to say flounder are like almost social animals in the sense that you know um, if they see one of their compadres bite and get hooked like they won't fall for the same trick does that is that a right term social maybe more aware maybe there's just more aware There we go. Nice flounder. Nice. Oh man. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. All right. It's a good flounder. Keeper flounder. I don't think I've ever caught a flounder this far out. So if it is the first, nice, bro. All right. Another keeper flounder for today. Look at that beauty. Kalamana Bugs second gen trout thumper. I uh, decided to go a little bit different because I knew I was going to go in skinnier water and way back here a lot of mud so I decided to go 
with some jig head paddle tail with the bugs clearly does his job nice 16 inch right there we're gonna let him go because i've never caught a big flounder or let me backtrack i've never caught a flounder period back here so this is the first i'm really surprised beautiful looking fish there get you out of your mouth here ah oh, there we go nice flatty right there hey where'd he go oh okay he's gone <laughs> wow what a great day keeper fish number three all on bugs lures what can i say man bugs make some great stuff been doing business with them for many many years and they never never fail on me uh, especially in this marsh system here upper texas coast i mean the fish love it now it's time in the video where i introduce the equipment i'm using because a lot of you guys are actually new to the channel so welcome today we're using the old 18 suppressor light action rod i have a discount code for this awesome made in usa rod rx angler 20 there's also a direct link in the description box below i've been using this for several years now caught many fish never had one single problem with it and it's made in usa here in houston texas so I can't complain. Next, we're using the Shimano Metanium Shallow Edition Reel from Digitaka.com. I do have a coupon code. Uh, just send me a DM via Instagram. Uh, if you don't know that discount code, then I'll be more than happy to give it to you via uh, Instagram. I'm also using Veribus 1.2 gauge braided line, which I also have a discount code. There's a direct link in the description box below. And at the end, we are using 12 pound fluorocarbon leader from Veribus. And last but not least, uh, we're using bugs fishing lures the majority of today and this is the latest one this is the new 2.0 trout thumper it looks kind of ugly because it's wet and it just got demolished by redfish but i gotta put another trailer on because he stole it but yeah caught a lot of good fish with this lure right here really hope you enjoyed today's video i'm glad you jumped in the uh, passenger seat and took a ride with me on my adventure i really do appreciate all you guys spending the time watching my videos because i love every single one of you and yeah we'll do this again man i am super blessed to do what i'm doing i hope you guys are blessed too all right guys we'll see you on the next one